tiny sad wedding. It's me, Lappy. Welcome back to my channel for another part of Let's Play The Sims for the Capulet Legacy. So I'm recording this one right off the back of the other one because I realized that Arabella and um, Shobin are not married. They're not even engaged. So today, we're going to get them engaged and married. Except we can't really afford a huge traditional wedding ceremony sort of thing. So I think what they're going to do is both of them are going to take the day off of work. As much as it hurts me to have them take days off. Actually, do you even have work today? Yes, you do. So I'm going to have them both take days off of work and they're going to go out together and have just like a nice day together and they're going to get engaged and get married. Um, the reason it's taken them so long is I think Arabella is a little bit reluctant to tie herself down to a marriage but you know they have three kids together and even if they're a little bit reluctant to get married even if they don't quite adore each other as much as they did when the triplets were born they do kind of need to tie the knot and make sure that, you know, they just feel like they have to get married now that they have three kids. So while they day have the day off, Arabella is going to make some breakfast for the two of them. And they're going to take it with them when they go out and have a nice picnic. I don't know where they're going to go yet, though. Maybe the ruins, because the ruins are nice. And we got married, and we started dating at the bluffs. Um, oh no, no, no. We're gonna do it at the chalet. The Von Haunt estate. And we have a weird visual glitch with this shirt, but it's all good. It's fine. Shouldn't you three be going to school? Yes, they're about to go to school. It's the trip's first day of school, isn't that nice? So they're going out. They're going to have a nice day. If they would please get out of my house. This is needlessly difficult. And because they d all did the school project together, Benji got some extra credit, which is weird because I was not intending for Benji to be the good boy of the family. But it's alright. Okay. No, no, no. You're gonna go out and have a picnic. You cannot eat cake. Do not put down the serving, put it down, and it's in your inventory so you're going to go out and travel. Okay, so far so good. My plan is working perfectly. Oh, and we have new neighbors. Uh, this is Sloane Petty and her daughter Drew. Yeah. Sloane is a young single mom. She's got Drew. Yeah. They've got stuff going on. And I don't know why I went to manage worlds, but we're going to go out to the Von Haan estate, I think. Because it is a nice place to have a wedding. It's all big and pretty. There's even an arch that they can go to. And put on 
fancy dresses. Because we can't afford a big wedding and I feel so bad. <laughs> Man. They work so hard, they don't deserve this. <laughs> it's okay. They shouldn't be taking the day off because that'll take away from their careers. But, you know, I need to chill out. Except that we're broke. You know, I need to be all zen about it. It's alright. It's all good. Uh, hopefully Bronwyn will have a little bit more money to go off of when she's a little bit older. And when she inherits the house. Um, I think the drama is gonna start next part, just warning you. Uh, well, not start, but the drama is going to get its nice foundation to go off of. Is that music new? I don't think I've heard that before. Well, our wedding guests are going to be Bernard and Mimsy the Ghost, my, some of my favorite townies. Um, ooh, they're wearing... She's wearing a new, newer outfit that I put her in. That's nice. The game's frozen, but it's alright. This is a big lot. I can't really fault it that much. I will fault it if it doesn't work. Okay, why don't you go ahead and change into your wedding outfit that I put you in a while ago when I thought you were actually going to be able to afford a big wedding. It's okay. They're so pretty. Awesome. <laughs> and they, and Bronwyn's gonna be really pretty when she ages up to... I went in and I checked. I'm not, I'm, if it sounds like I'm like near the point of tears, I'm not. I promise. I promise I'm not. Um, why don't... Why isn't there like... <sighs> Alright. You know what? I'm gonna... Should I deface public property? I'm gonna. We're gonna tear down a couple of the ropes real quick. For the sake of eating their breakfast scramble that I cooked for them. Let's just say that the Von Haunt estate opens no. It's not what I wanted. Opens the off-limits areas for, like, weddings and stuff. But why don't you two go ahead and grab a serving together. They're gonna have their picnic. Oh my god, I'm so sad. Like... I know that Shogun really, really loves... No, don't talk to that person. I know that Shogun adores Arabella, but Arabella's feelings are kind of drifting a little bit, and it's really sad. Like, <laughs> I feel so bad. But we're gonna go ahead and put this in our inventory. It's probably gonna spoil while we're out. Yeah, like, look at her. She doesn't look terribly excited to be getting married today. Well, she's smiling sometimes. I don't know. Their marriage is... <laughs> they're not even married, but their relationship is a bit messy. Miriam, honestly... We're trying to get ready to... Miriam, please... Miriam, just leave us alone. She is kind of pretty, though. And after... <laughs> I just want them to eat so that they can go down here and get engaged and get married. <sighs> They're too young for this. Or, well, they were too young when they started their relationship and had their kids, and now they're kind of stuck. 
where they are, and it's a little bit sad. But it's alright. Hey, it's Mimti and Bernard. Okay. You're almost done eating, just stop talking to Miriam. Stop it. You cooked that! And you think it's gross? Oh my god, okay. Why don't you two go all the way down here? Down to the wedding arch and the pretty waterfall. Go there together. We'll zoom a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about these two. So, they were in love a few parts ago when they met and got married and started dating and stuff or at least they thought they were in love they were uh, really infatuated with each other and then the trips were born and they kinda got molded together or they think that they're stuck together she's no 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 I didn't mean to click that I didn't mean to click that I don't want you to go home Okay, are you coming? Yeah, you're tra trailing behind a little bit. They were infatuated with each other at first, and the triplets were born, so now... You know what? No, no, no. No. I'm just gonna teleport them in place because I'm not dealing with this right now. Oh, they're both kind of uncomfortable right now. I'm gonna get rid of this moonlit because I don't want to have that being a damper on things. We're just gonna abandon this, I think. Somewhere. It's alright. But we're gonna have Arabella go ahead and propose. I'm trying to... They don't have high enough romance, okay. See? Th they're not... Their relationship doesn't have, like, the oomph anymore. So, they're just... I'm just gonna try and... Push it. Because uh, I feel so bad. Just gotta build up their romance. So that they can get into a marriage that they don't really entirely want. Okay. Proposal time. Gotta get screenies. I mean, they are really cute together. I'm not denying that. They're a really cute couple. Alright. There we go. The issue is more along the lines of they've had too much happen to them. And it all happened when they were, like, young kids. They were not ready to have triplets or get into this really solid relationship. Like, if it had been given the time to, like, build up, then I'm sure it would have been fine. And if this game crashes, I swear on all that is holy, I will rain. No. I will rain my rage from above. I can still hear its sound effects. There we go. Okay. There we go. And we're going to get them married. Okay, I, I don't even remember what I was talking about. But the issue is not that I don't like them together or that they're not cute together. It's an issue of, like, if their relationship had been given time to warm up, then... Maybe it would have lasted longer, but as it stands, they were kind of rushed into it. I can hear the music, but they're not doing it. 
Okay, let's stop right now. <sighs> Why is my game doing this to me? There we go. Now you two can get married. Come on. It's working. Okay. So their marriage is happening. And I'm taking screenshots because they are really cute. I just feel bad that their relationship had to be so rushed. And that took way longer than it really needed to to get going. But that's alright. Oh man. Okay, this is taking a while. I forgot how long this interaction was. Okay. My aunt showed up at my house. So, I'm a itty bit distracted. But it's alright, I need to wrap up this part a little bit sooner than I normally would. Um, I know there's a bed upstairs, but there's also a bush. So why don't you two go consecrate your marriage? Where's the bush? I'm just gonna cue the interaction so that they'll do it. Go woohoo. Go, go, go. Okay, come on. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Alright. There we go. There's the bush. Alright. Good wedding. Good, tiny, sad wedding. Nobody in Bush, huh? Well, I'm doing it anyway. Okay. And we're back. I had to pause real quick. Uh, but they're still going at it, which is good. Okay. And when they're done with that, is there anything much else to do? I can have them wander the maze together if I can find where it starts. I can't find the starting point. Oh, uh, what's going on? Okay, the kids are home from school. So I think I'll leave them to whatever they want to do, and then I'll switch control over to Bronwyn so I can hang out with the kitties. Let's see what's going on with them. They don't know what's going on. They probably weren't even aware that their mamas weren't even married. Um, let's see. It takes forever and a day for this game to load sometimes, and it's very annoying, but it's okay. Okay, come on. Come on. Take me home. Oh, take me home, take me home where I belong, I can't take it anymore. That's actually a song by the same artist that sang um, Under the Water for the Vampires pack. I knew that song because before I heard on The Sims, and I wish they would put that um, song that was in the trailer up in the English language, like Monsey's Ward. Can we do that, please? It's real good, and I want to listen to it on repeat for my entire life. And it's been a solid five months since that pet came out. Okay, there we go. And we are home with the triplets. We need a TV or something. And theoretically, we have enough money for one. Okay. I don't want you to make a mess. I wonder if there's a mod to make it so that they won't do that on their own. Uh, let's go do your homework. You do your homework. 
And you do your homework. Uh, how's your school performance levels? They're alright. You're eating cake like an evil, like the evil little boy you are. Gosh. Okay, the kids are just gonna take care of themselves. I'm, I'll bring back the moms before bedtime. Maybe around five, I'll have them come on home. But they're going to finish up their schoolwork, and then I could probably have them go ahead and eat something. Why don't you guys go get some garlic noodles? Because uh, I don't want you starving to death. I don't want you guys getting taken away by the social workers. It would ruin my plans. I'm going to take it. Okay. Because I do have plans for all three of them. Their lives are going to be quite dramatic. Okay. Could we get through this now? Homework takes a while to do in this game. But it's okay. It's okay. Their responsibility is going up. Uh, high school C student. Yep. They all have like the same grade. <sighs> but they're gonna get that done. Chauvin earned 280 simoleons on her day off. Good. I'm glad they had some time to themselves to go hang out today without the kids. That work. I'm gonna buy us a TV because, man, it is a pain trying to find ways for everybody to have fun. Uh, let's put the walls up. Yeah, we have room. I'll just. Wish I could move this so that I. Okay, they're directly across from each other. That's much better. Uh, let's get a TV. Uh, probably a cheap one. Let's just plop down a TV stand. And that one will work. When sized up, it actually looks pretty nice. And get a couch. That'll fit at least the three kids. This house is my ass. But we're gonna have them go ahead and watch TV. I want their fun needs to go up. And if I need to get up and handle the situation, I am going to have a conniption fence. I'm going to zoom. I will just focus on Bronwyn right now, because Bronwyn is the heiress, and that is the easiest way to handle this, is just to focus on the heiress and the heiress alone. Watch between TV. Just go do this. Go do that. Okay. I'll take care of Bronwyn's needs first. <laughs> Found some money from the Penny Pixies. And what do you need? You need to go pee. And... Then you can wish you could just join watching the TV. That would make my life easier. Oh, the parents are home. It's not like we don't even have a curfew set. They just kind of came home. All right. Why don't you go ahead and watch TV too? Uh, you two are doing good. die if she is. Let's have you go ahead and grab some food. I will wash this for you. Uh, Shobin, you need to use the bathroom and get some food too, so you can go ahead and do that. Okay. Kids are doing good. We're in Needsville, where we just take care of their needs. Endlessly. Three little yeah, cactus sitting in a bunch. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look 
get them. They're like always lined up. Like sibling goals. Even though I hate that there are three of them. But okay. I'm going to have them go ahead and shower and then you can go to bed. Uh, your needs are doing pretty good. You just need to take a shower and then go to wrong bed. This is your bed. And Brock. Wait until your sister's out and then I'll have you shower and go to bed. And moms can go to bed. <sighs> Man, this, this household is hard to keep track of. And Brock shower and go to bed. Okay. Stop with the triumphant music. There's no reason for it. No reason at all. It's okay. I'm not frustrated. I'm not frustrated at all. I don't know what you're talking about. This house is not any easier to take care of. Now that the kids have aged up, I lied to myself. And I'm wrapping this part up right now. Okay. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, if you did, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye bye!